Flexi layout language post search relations. So we've already discussed Flexi layout language pre search relations, and we've also discussed hypotheses, and now we're going to focus on post search relations. And we'll cover different topics. Um, we can write code in post search relations where we can work with hypotheses of the elements. It's where we can influence which hypothesis to take. So we'll touch on all these topics in this presentation. Advanced post search relations code is written here below the advanced pre search relations editing window on the advanced tab. By creating scripted rules, you are effectively applying constraints either to the element that you are adding code to or elements above this element within the Flexi layout tree. And here are some examples of such constraints. For instance, we can detect elements that are longer than five centimeters or some value in dots or other measurement units. One could also do a conditional constraint such as uh, with the width of a string being greater than five millimeters, uh, then we can modify the quality of that hypothesis. The post search relations code is executed after the hypothesis is formed and for each formed hypothesis independently. And if you hover your mouse over a dot, you can see the pre search quality as well as the post search quality which is influenced by your coded rules. And you can also see the chain quality. The chain quality is calculated by multiplying the qualities of all the sub-elements in the chain and is used to compare rival chains of hypotheses. The chain starts from the first sub-element of the group to the current sub-element. So you'll see in a demonstration a little bit later get this information. These global functions can be used for one-page documents or multi-page documents, and they're not limited to post-search relations. Here's a demonstration of that. I'll go ahead and show how you can actually use the document rect function to capture all the data on a multi-page document. So here I've got a rather simple flexi layout, and I've got an, a region element defined, and it's a two-page document. So we've got page one top, and then page one bottom, page two top, page two bottom. And so you can see it's a two-page document. If I look inside this region, there's really no criteria set anywhere except on the advanced tab. And under pre-search relations in this case, I'm saying above the document rectangle bottom. And what that allows me to capture really is everything. So I've captured all of this first page, and I've also captured all of this second page. So some people think that with Flexi Capture, the only way that we can get the full text OCR of a one-page document or a multi-page document is to export a PDF file with a searchable text layer, but this is a different method and we can assign this to one single field. So let's look at this in Flexi Capture. Um, sure enough, uh, this starts with page one top. We get all of our data. There's page one bottom, page two top, and page two bottom. All of this data in one field. So that's a pretty handy capability, especially considering that you're able to get this with only one single line of code right here. So not only can we work with and set the real quality of a hypothesis, we can also affect the quality by computing a penalty coefficient calculated as a result of checking if any given value belongs to what we refer to as a fuzzy interval. And that fuzzy interval is similar to what we focused on in the pre-search relations presentation 
where we looked at a character string's character count. And within that dialog box where we said a character needs to be, a string is, should be between 10 and 20 characters, but uh, we can also accept characters as, as long as 30 characters long. Uh, and to visualize that, we fired up a fuzzy interval editor and that showed us which character strings would have the highest quality based on the length of the strings. So that same approach is used with the fuzzy quality function. Here is an example of how the fuzzy quality function works. We have the fuzzy quality function itself and then the value and then the fuzzy interval. And so with this rule, we are describing how we are increasing the quality of the element. So when we say top minus page rec dot top and this fuzzy interval, that translates to the closer to the top of the page, the higher the quality of the hypothesis. So I can use a fuzzy quality function to also select and prefer fonts that are larger. So let me go ahead and show that. Here we have a very simple layout and I have disabled one of these character string ele elements. So I'll go ahead and match this document and we'll see that uh, this character string is just matching the very first item that's closest to point zero zero, closest to the upper left hand portion of the document. So if we look inside here, really nothing has been specified. The character string, this is all default settings. Nothing here at all. Except that I've got some code in the advanced pre-search relations that is looking only in the top one-fifth of the document. So that is very useful code. You can see the search area is restricted. And then in the uh, post search relations, I have some commented out um, code. So let's go here and I will enable this character string and I'll match. Now we have what looks like branching, maybe a problem, but it's really not a problem. So let's hover our mouse here. Click first and then hover our mouse and we can see that the post search quality is 0.935 and then let's click on the next dot and it looked at these strings and said that the post search quality is 0.978 and then finally here we've got a solid green dot this is what was selected and we hover our mouse and we see that the post search quality is 0.986 so we influenced the quality. So similar to what I, we were looking at in the PowerPoint, instead of saying closest to the page top edge, we're saying the larger the font, the better. So we can look quickly at what that code looks like. Again, on the advanced tab, there's that, um, that code that makes sure that we're only looking in the top one-fifth of the document. And then here, we've got a simple line of code saying that essentially the larger the font size the higher the quality and you can't achieve these, this result using the GUI here's where you need to use flexi layout language